What's going on guys? Today I decided to make a video that I've actually been thinking about for quite some time now. Uh, pretty much ever since 1.5 plus 2.5 was even announced. And so today I'll be talking about uh, many missed opportunities that they could have fixed uh, with the PS4 re-releases. I don't want this to really seem like a countdown list because I don't really feel like it is. Uh, this is just what I feel could have improved the overall enjoyment of the gameplay and enticed more people to buy the game for a third or fourth time. One thing that I always really liked about the more recent Kingdom Hearts games was that in the top left corner you could always see uh, how close you were to leveling up again. However, that's absent in the original game and I feel like that would have been a nice little touch if they would have added that in just to make the game play a little bit more smooth. However, it's not that big of a deal uh, without it because you can still look at it through the status menu. Another missed opportunity was theater mode. Uh, when 1.5 came to PS3, I was surprised to find that there was no theater mode uh, in the game, which I always thought was really weird. Now, I thought they would add it on uh, to the PS4 version, but I was once again wrong. They later released it as free DLC, but I feel like it should have been part of the release uh, to begin with, especially since uh, not everyone can download content online. I also think that adding a critical mode to both Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories would have been a very interesting add-on, and people have wanted a critical mode added in for a very long time, so adding one in would have gotten a lot more attention uh, than what we got. Uh, now, another thing, and this is more just a personal thing, is uh, I think that saving onto the system instead of in-game would have been a nice touch similar to Birth by Sleep in 0.2. Now, I prefer the look of the in-game saves, but the system saves are a lot better as they make it harder to overwrite your file. And after overwriting three 100% files, I don't really care anymore uh, how good in-game save feels. Another odd thing that I've always seen in the original Kingdom Hearts game was that in the item shop when you're buying weapons for Donald and Goofy, there's no stats for the weapons on the side. So until you buy the weapon, you don't actually know uh, if they're stronger than what you already have, or if they have better MP, you just don't really know anything about the weapon until you buy it. And I feel like adding in some type of little stat on the side would have not only made it a lot better in general, but it would also help a lot of first time players, uh, that way they don't end up just spending a lot of money and wasting all of their uh, assets. However, those are just a few things that I personally think would have not only improved the game, but also gotten more people interested in purchasing the game again. However, I also understand that the majority of these things aren't really that big of a deal, and I can understand why they wouldn't be added in. They try to keep the game as uh, close to the original as possible, and I can respect that. That makes sense to me. Uh, I just feel like sometimes there are uh, ways that you can improve the game and still keep it very original. So uh, you guys let me know what you think about the five things that I personally think would have been uh, good as far as improvements. And uh, let me know what you think should have been added in. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.